Now we're going to do the assessment of the eyes. We're going to begin with the six cardinal points. Beginning, follow my finger, please. This way. No. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Next, we're going to do um, accommodation. So he's going to follow my finger forward. Next is direct and consensual. So I'm going to use my pen light, and I'm going to flash the light in one eye, and I'm going to see what happens directly in that eye. And next, I will do confrontation, which is what happens in the other eye that does not have the light in it. Consensual. So here's direct, and I see the pupil constricting because the light's in it. And now I'm going to do consensual, and I'm going to see what happens in this pupil when the light is in this eye. And it also gets smaller as I flash the light. Next, I'm going to do um, peripheral field, which is also called confrontation. So I'm going to have him cover his left eye. And I'm going to hold up some fingers. And I'm going to ask him how many fingers I'm holding up as I'm coming around to see his field of vision in the right eye. No, can't see it. Can't see it. Can't see it. Can't see it. Nope. Right there. How many? Three? Yes. After that, we're going to go to the Snelling chart, and I'm going to ask him to cover one eye, and with the other eye, as he's standing 20 feet away, I'm going to ask him to read some lines, and based on how far he can get down that chart, it'll tell me what his, field of, uh, his vision is like. After that, we're going to go into the dark room, and we're going to do the red reflex, which is taking the uh, ophthalmoscope. And we're going to flash the light into the pupil until we can see the red reflex, which is the uh, retina. As Once we see it, we're going to go slowly forward. So if I have it in this eye, I'm going to go to his right eye, if it's in my right eye, so we're not face to face. Um, and I'm going to slowly move forward until I could actually see the back of the retina and I can see the small blood vessels. And that's